latest on Typhoon Mancut, which has intensified and is now a Category 3 on the Saffir Simpson scale, with winds of 115 miles per hour and a pressure around 950. At midnight Chamorro Standard Time, September 11th, the storm is at 14.1 degrees north, 144 degrees east. It's now a stage 4 on the CDPS scale, meaning extensive damage is likely, and indeed some of those islands are still under the Tropical Storm Force wind field, if not all of them as a matter of fact. 67 miles west now of Hagatna, Guam, 1330 from Virac, 1,480 miles from Santa Ana on the extreme northeastern tip of Luzon and 1542 from the capital Manila. Typhoon warning remains in effect for those islands, Guam, Rota, Tinian and Saipan. Typhoon conditions are possible right now, tropical storm conditions are still occurring we believe. Uh, they will end in the next few hours. This is what we expect of the storm over the next few days. You can see it moving through the Philippine Sea and models were saying for a very long time that this is where the most amount of intensification would occur and potential rapid intensification and we may well see Category 5 status throughout this week. Who knows? And towards the end of the week, we're now starting to get a bit of a clearer picture on what we think the storm might do. The GFS model is showing the storm passing straight through the channel uh, into the South China Sea and then towards the coast of China where it will make landfall not too far from Hong Kong as a matter of fact uh, over the end of next week but that is quite a far way out on the model run. Sea surface temperatures are very warm all the way up until the first landmass it meets next. 29 degrees Celsius all the way through the Philippine Sea is ripe for intensification. Over the next few days you can see Mankut developing into Tuesday and then throughout the rest of the week just about make out a weak system in the South China Sea there as well. That's 27W, expected to remain weak. And this is Mankut now through the end of the week onto Friday it starts to approach the Philippines. Look at the size of that wind field, tropical storm force winds, all the green areas there. So the Philippines and Taiwan could see that and it could pass over one of those Batanas Islands a little bit like Maranti, but hopefully not as strong. Tropical storm force wind conditions uh, obviously are occurring on those islands, so they're as close to 100% as you can get. It's now up to 49% at Santa Ana and 51% on Basco. Those percentages will continue to increase, no doubt, over the next few days. So what do the models think? Well, most of them say in Category 4 at least, given that it's already a Category 3, the models may have to do a little bit of catch up on that. And this is what the wind shear looks like. Now that may prevent the storm from intensifying as much as we might think, um, but wind shear will be down later in about three days time. So it could re-intensify re then from whatever intensity it is at by then. Uh, the latest GFS is on the screen actually, that's a newer one I think, taking it towards Taiwan, or that might be an older one, I'm not sure, but the rest of the models we're talking about mainly through the channel, the likelihood of a Philippine landfall has shrunk just a little bit. Uh, this is what the storm looks like right now, I mean it is struggling to get its eye together on those latest frames, but it is uh, attempting to uh, really push on and develop it, move through those islands, possibly a landfall on Rota, if not it was very close, maybe just to the north, um, and Guam looks like it got a real pounding as well from the storm, but next on its list is the Philippines and Taiwan and the coast of China, stay tuned for more. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with the latest. You can also find our YouTube page, you're probably there already, but if not, subscribe if you haven't so far. You can also find our Facebook page, Force 13 all in text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also help the project become even better by enjoying the benefits of patronage. You can find out more information about how to become a patron and what those benefits are at patreon.com forward slash force 13. We are also continuing into our third day of coverage on force 13's live feed. You can find it at youtube.com forward slash force 13 forward slash live. <laughs>